Hello, my name is Dustin Harris, Senior System Engineer for Caminario. In today's demo, we'll demonstrate how Caminario's K2 All Flash Storage Array allows you to easily and efficiently back up and restore your Microsoft SQL Server databases using application consistent point in time snapshots. While creating the snapshot, the database will serve without interruption I.O. generated by an OLTP workload. In addition, we'll show you how a writable Caminario K2 snapshot delivers the same level of performance as the original base volume. Finally, we'll demonstrate how the K2 allows you to implement SQL Server always-on availability groups with minimal RPO and RTO for disaster recovery. For the first test, we're using a 1K block Caminario K2 array. We have two hosts directly connected to the K2 via four 8 gigabit fiber channel cables. Both hosts are running SQL Server 2012. Let's start a background workload on the first host. The current load consists of an OLTP query. All SQL Server disks are configured in K2 in a single volume group. A K2 volume group is a logical definition for a single volume or multiple volumes and is used as a consistency group during the SQL Server snapshot creation. Let's look at the snapshot view of the SQL Server volume group and see how the snapshot appears. Using the K2 VSS provider and a set of VSS commands, we take the application consistent snapshot while the workload is running. Now we see the snapshot and the writable snapshot, which is called a replica, that we can map either to the same host or to a new host. As we can see, there is no impact on the ongoing workload. On the second host, we'll run an additional script, which will copy the VSS cab configuration file from the first host, expose the snapshot, and prepare the SQL Server environment for the new database. Going back to the Performance tab, we can see that there's still no impact on the ongoing workload. Now we would like to run an OLTP query load on the new database. The new workload is added to the already running workload. This new database can be used for different purposes, such as QA testing, backup, or analytics without any impact on the production database. In our next test, we'll show how Caminario K2 allows implementation of SQL Server always-on availability groups. For this test, we'll use two Caminario K2 1K block arrays. A SQL Server host is connected to each of the arrays when the SQL Server always-on availability group with automatic failure is configured between the databases. We'll run a SQL Server workload on the primary database through the availability group listener simulate a failed network connection on the primary database, see how the secondary database becomes the primary and keeps servicing the SQL Server workload. Let's start the SQL Server workload. While the workload is running, we can see the always-on configuration in the SQL Server Management Studio. The primary database in the always-on availability group is SQL Server 2012A, and the secondary database is SQL Server per 4. Now we'll demonstrate the failed network and watch the performance tab during the failover process. We can see that the SQL Server host stops servicing queries. While the always on performs the failover to the secondary database, we will switch to the second K2 GUI. After the secondary database becomes the primary, the database keeps servicing new requests and the workload continues. We can look at the SQL Server Management Studio again and see that the secondary database is now the primary database. Enabling the network connection again will fix the problems in the always on availability group. So now we've watched the K2 handle demanding workloads take application consistent snapshots for analysis, QA tests, or backup. We've seen the minimal RPO and RTO of the SQL Server always on availability groups with automatic failover. And we've seen it all with excellent performance and low latency. 
For more details and results, please download our SQL Server Test Results White Paper at Kaminario.com. Thank you.